galaxy empty or is it just quiet? Do we not hear from alien civilization because they don't exist or because they're afraid of what's out there? Hi everyone, astrobiologist here to talk about dark forest hypothesis. The dark forest hypothesis is one answer to the Fermi paradox. The Fermi paradox is that big where's everybody else question. But I really like the dark forest hypothesis because it really forces us to reckon with the galaxy as a living ecosystem and not just an abstract thing out in space. Imagine you're lost in quite literally a dark forest. You don't know what kind of forest it is. You don't know what kind of wildlife is living there. You're lost. You can't see anything. Are you going to light a campfire? Are you going to turn on your phone flashlight? Are you going to yell for help? Will that get you rescued or eaten? The dark forest hypothesis posits that it is this scenario that is the reason we have not heard from alien civilization. We don't know what's out there. They don't know what's out there. For all we know, there could be galactic super predators that prey on young civilizations, or there could be nobody at all. But it's this fear that keeps everybody quiet. This may seem like an idea that has no real world application, but it is a matter of great debate in the study community or the messages to extraterrestrial intelligence or METI community. Some folks in that community, like the late Stephen Hawking, said that we should not be sending signals to extraterrestrials because an encounter like that could be an encounter like Christopher Columbus and Native Americans. On the other hand, SETI scientist Seth Shostak points out that there's nothing special about the Earth for aliens to take. Water's everywhere, oxygen is in great abundance, all those precious metals in the asteroid belt, they're in every solar system. From an economic standpoint, it doesn't make any sense for aliens to come and pillage the Earth. This is still a very active debate. In 2015, a bunch of astrobiologists signed a letter that says, hey, if you want to start sending messages to extraterrestrial civilization, we as a global culture need to talk about that first. But you can't really enforce that. Anybody with a big laser or a big telescope could just Leroy Jenkins their way into first contact, which would result in a number of science fiction franchises, such as Star Trek, Star Wars, or Stargate. Or maybe the dark forest is just empty. Thanks for tuning in. If you like my videos, consider subscribing and keep an eye out for my book, Life in Seven Numbers, out 2026 from Princeton University Press.